Hi friends, it's Lauren Taylor. Thanks for joining me in my craft room today. I appreciate you being here with me. Today I'm making a card using the latest sheet load of cards from Call Me Crafty Al. As always, I will have her original video linked down below in my description. And normally I do a large batch of cards, but I've been really dying to use the new Berry Sweet line from scrapbook.com. And I decided to just make one card kind of loosely following the sketch. I'm going to do my own take on it. These are the Berry Sweet products. There is a die set, a stamp set, and of course that paper pad that I just showed. I end up not using the stamp set on this card, but I did want to show you the whole collection. I have my card base ready. This is a top folding A2 card base using Nina's Ultra Thick 100 and... 10, I think, or 100 pound cardstock. I have it linked in my basic supplies if you uh, want to see what I use. And I picked out some of my favorite papers from the Berry Sweet paper pad, as well as that dark green piece of cardstock from the Christmas paper pad. I thought it matched really well with the greens on those strawberries on that print. That's my favorite print. I think they are adorable. Instead of creating a little panel to put on the front of the card, I'm going to use my basket from the Berry Sweet dies. So I'm just kind of figuring out how I'm going to lay this on. And I think the basket's large enough that I don't need another piece of pattern paper to have a panel. I'm just going to use that basket as my panel. I'm getting out my nested rectangle dies because I'm going to use the second largest A2 die. Well, this die is not A2, it's a step down from A2. And I'm cutting that with the green cardstock, and then I use the next smallest down, so the third die, to cut out the strawberries. I use some craft from the Christmas cardstocks to uh, cut out my basket, and I'm gonna use it to cut out the back of my strawberries because I want my strawberry seeds to be brown. I'm gonna use a red piece of cardstock from the Berry Sweet Paper Pack to cut out the stitched strawberry, and then I'm using the same green as my background to cut out the little tops of my strawberries. I'm also cutting out some of the flowers that you see on a strawberry plant, so I'm doing leaves out of the same green, the flower out of white cardstock, and the center of the flowers out of a soft yellow from the Warms collection from scrapbook.com's um, cardstock. I'm adding my green as my background. I know normally I cut out the center panels of my cardstock because I don't like wasting cardstock that you won't see, but I just went ahead and just cut the panel as is. So I have the green panel with a white border and then I have my beautiful pink and red strawberry pattern paper. I'm adding some ink to my berry basket. This is the background, so there's like two different layers to this basket, and I used the darker color walnut stain on the back of my basket, and then the front of my basket, I'm using my paper pouncers to add vintage photo. I decided that I wanted to put kind of a little fabric looking trim on the top of my basket and I have just enough left over of the piece of pattern paper that I used to cut my strawberry background. On the back side of it there's this really adorable striped pink and white pattern so I use that to trim uh, the just the top or sorry die cut just the top of the basket and I trimmed down um, the excess paper that I didn't need. And then using my paper pouncers, again, I'm adding some spun sugar distress ink to my die cut. So just adding a little bit of ink. Um, I wanted it very soft looking on the edges and the bottom of my, what I hope will look like fabric inside of my basket. Now I'm gonna glue all the layers of my basket together. So just using some glue on the part that I will overlap to have my two baskets together. I like that I could use this basket without the background because then it will look like it's see-through and you could have um, your fruit inside of the basket. So I definitely am gonna do that next time. I'm also adding that pink and white border to the top of my basket. I just think it looks really sweet, like a little gift basket of what will be strawberries. 
I die cut out this label, but it ends up just not really working with my layout. I was planning to stamp on it, but as I put the card together, I realized that I just don't have enough space for the label, and so I end up with a die cut sentiment instead of stamping. But um, I really love how there's like an embossed line along the edge of the die cut label, so definitely can see using that on a lot of cards. I just think it's a really pretty design. I'm gluing the layers of my strawberry together. So starting with that craft background, I glued the red strawberry with the die cut details of the seeds and then the little greens of my strawberry. And then I glued my flowers together and I just kind of use my thumb to kind of make it a little more 3D by curling the edges of those die cut petals uh, just to make it kind of stick out and look a little more 3D. So now I'm going to figure out how I'm going to layer in all of these strawberries and my flowers and it takes me a little time to kind of figure it out so I will spare you the details on that and here is kind of the general look of the design that I settle on. I'm going to just use some wet glue to glue my leaves and my flowers to the basket. Now the design from Crafty Owl has kind of that patterned paper uh, extra piece cut to be on the edge of where her sentiment is in the um, the design, the template. So I thought having the flowers and this strawberry be more towards the left of my berry basket would kind of fit the intent of the original sketch. I'm going to use some foam adhesive to pop up my strawberry just where it overlaps onto the basket. So just using some foam circles to attach that to my basket. Once that's done, I already have my strawberries pretty much lined up how I want them, so I'm going to grab a piece of mint tape and just use that to pick up my strawberries so they don't move too much, and then I will apply glue to the backs of them and lay it right back down onto the card. Now I don't get glue all over every strawberry, and I do need to glue them to each other a little bit better, but uh, this at least will keep the strawberries together and I can get it somewhat started to be attached to the back. Background. Once the glue has a chance to adhere, I'm just going to slowly peel off that mint tape and then now I can add glue to the strawberries that need a little bit more adhesion to actually stick to the card. So there's two strawberries that overlap, so just adding some glue to those. I want them to look like they're inside the basket, so I'm going to add more foam circles to the back of my berry basket, and I'm just going to put them towards the bottom and middle of the basket, and then I do add glue to the top of the basket, but there's still quite a bit of space in between my berries and my basket, so I'm just going to grab a strip of my foam strips from scrapbook.com and just kind of slide it in there to tuck behind the top of the basket so that way there's some stable it's stable when attached right there to the strawberries so here's where I'm going to grab and kind of change what I was doing and I'm going to do Berry Sweet. The die set has the word itself in this really pretty script font and then there's also the shadow dies. I end up just kind of liking those script by themselves so I cut them out of the red cardstock or pattern paper from the Berry Sweet collection with the strawberry seeds because that's my second favorite design in this paper pack. And I also die cut the sentiment out of the same green as well as white and I decide to use white as my drop shadow. So I'm applying glue to the back of my sentiment and gluing it to the white um, word cutout and just slowly or slowly just slightly uh, gluing it to the top left so there's a bit of a drop shadow to the bottom right of that white cardstock and I think it just helps the sentiment pop off a little bit more off the card. Once I have those glued down, I'm going to grab some pops of color. I'm doing banana split in the center of my flowers. I felt that that yellow kind of matched that warm, soft yellow that I used. And then I also grabbed unicorn tears, which is a glitter pops of color where the banana split was a gloss. And I'm adding just some details to my strawberries. Anywhere where I can see an edge of the strawberries, I added it. And then I'm going to go across the basket. It has a nice score line right in the middle of that kind of detailed design on the top so I applied some of that glitter pops of color um, on the basket and here is a final look at my berry sweet strawberry basket card inspired by the latest show us your sheet load um, card sketch from call me crafty owl
Thank you so much for watching. I hope you'll click like, and if you're new here, I hope you'll subscribe and come back. As always, you can find everything I use down below in the description box. Thank you and have a wonderful day. Bye.